Welcome to this video on e-invest ASPA using UPI ID. ASPA means application supported by blocked amount. The Securities and Exchange Board of India has mandated that all investors except anchor investors applying in an IPO are required to only use the ASPA facility for making payments. SEBI has made it mandatory for retail investors applying through registered brokers, depository participants and RTAs to invest in IPOs through the UPI route. To start with the process, you need a UPI ID. If you have an existing UPI ID, you can simply apply for the IPO of your choice through your broker's website or mobile application. But if you do not have a UPI ID, you will have to create one. In this video, you will understand how retail individual investors can apply for an IPO equity using their UPI ID for the purpose of blocking funds. You should have a DMAT account with any depository participants along with a valid permanent account number. In order to ensure parity across the various channels, for submitting application, it has been decided that an investor making an application using any of the aforesaid channels shall use only his or her own bank account linked UPI ID to make an application in public issues. Applications made using a third party bank account or using third party linked bank account UPI ID are liable for rejection. To apply in an IPO issue using UPI ID, visit broker's website or mobile application, log into the site with the given credentials, select the IPO you wish to apply for. Check the IPO details such as issue open and close date, minimum bid quantity, bid multiples, lower and upper price span, check the applicant's details. Applicant details will automatically populate it. Up to three bids can be made within the price span. For example, if you enter the quantity as 100 and price as rupees 130 in bid 1, it will automatically calculate the bid value. Similarly, you can also enter bid 2 and bid 3. Select UPI option, enter your UPI ID, accept the terms condition, and submit to confirm your bid. If you are applying at cutoff price, only one bid can be made. For example, if you enter the quantity as 1000 and maximum bid price is rupees 130, will automatically be picked up. Only retail individual investors are eligible to apply at a cutoff price. Please remember, the maximum bid value should not exceed rupees 2 lakhs for retail individual investors in any case. Enter the UPI ID, accept the terms and condition and submit to confirm your bid. You will receive an SMS notification on the UPI enabled mobile device stating that a mandate block request is received in UPI. Log into your UPI mobile application to accept the mandate request. Click UPI mandate option. Click request received option under the UPI mandate. Select the pending collect mandate request for approval. Click the pending mandate that is to be approved. Ensure the authenticity of the collect request. Check all the details and verify the source of collect mandate request details. Click on Approve to proceed. Enter the UPI PIN and submit. Upon validation of the mandate, fund block request and by entering your UPI PIN, the said information would be sent to your bank where the funds equivalent to application amount would get blocked in your account. Intimation regarding confirmation of such a block of funds in your account would also be received by you. Transactions will be declined in case the account has insufficient funds. The application shall be treated as invalid and not eligible for allocation.
You may verify the collect mandate request history in your UPI mobile application as pending, approved or expired. In case of full allotment of shares, blocked amount will get debited from your bank account. In case of partial allotment, money will be debited for the allotment value and the balance amount will be unblocked in the investor's account. In case the investors does not get any allotment, the amount blocked in the account will be unblocked. Under the UPI framework, the investor will be notified of the debits of funds from the bank account. In case of allotment of the shares, your DP account would get credited to the extent of allotted equity shares. If the information furnished by the applicant is incorrect or insufficient, the bid is liable to be rejected and company or bank would not be liable for losses if any. Verify your bank account for blocking and unblocking of funds. Check your DMAT account in case the shares are allotted to you. For any updates or clarification, contact your bank. Thank you and happy investing.